Hello everyone, I'm going to assess one of my students' letters in this video and provide the word by word feedback. And then finally, the overall score for this letter. So you have written down the ophthalmologist. Okay, that's the address. So didn't you get the address, addressee's contact details in the case now? No, sir, only give no, Okay, sir, only that's all right. Me. That's all right then, that's okay. 29 January, 2017, I'm happy with that. Dear Dr. Kama, uh, that's okay. Regarding Mr. Tej Singh Randhava, Kama aged 41, good. I'm writing to refer Mr. Tej Singh Randhava, who is suspected to have Harness syndrome. Therefore, Kama, he requires further evaluation and definitive diagnosis, good. Good, I'm happy with that. So the introduction paragraph sounds really good. Uh, but syndrome, okay, sorry. Syndrome, a syndrome spelling is incorrect. It should have E at the end. Yes. Okay, syndrome. Um, but apart from that, it was all right. So you have written on syndrome. Uh, it is without E. So that should be syndrome with E. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. All right. Apart from that, it's good. Yes, the introduction paragraph sounds good, apart from that. Socially, Mr. Randhava is a systems analyst who lives with his wife and daughter in his own house. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. Mr. Randhava presented to the clinic on 10 January with the com with the complaints of, okay, let's say 10 January, okay, about 19 days ago, okay. Compliance of right-sided headache and infectious sinusitis, which was treated by augmentin. Okay, so um, so he got two complaints, right? One is the right-sided headache, and then the other is this thing, sinusitis, right? So there are two conditions. So he, so do you think that this medication can treat both these conditions, or is it only for the for the recent one, only for this one? Uh, the teacher given uh, augmenting only given uh, in the case notes. Okay, in the case notes. But what my question is, okay, if both of them were treated, then you should use which were treated. If it is only okay. one uh, condition, that is this one, then you should okay. use which was treated, okay? Uh, okay. Let's have a look at the case notes. Why did they mention that? They create say no cough in the name which I can do this. General given augmented. So it's only augmented, but it treats both of them. Okay. So okay. you should have mentioned yeah. which were treated. It's not which was treated, unfortunately. Okay. So which was treated? No, which were treated. All right, let's go to the next one. On subsequent days, his headache uh, had become more severe, okay, which radiates to the right uh, eye. Is that right eye? Is that R? It sounds like light eye. Teeth and so even light eye only, sir. Light eye. I think it must be right eye. Uh, it should be right eye, I think. Okay, which radiates? Okay, is it ongoing? If it is ongoing, then it is okay. But if it is uh, not, then you should mention which radiated to the right eye. Okay. It must be which radiates. Okay, it's like which radiated. All right, and then light eye. No, that's wrong. Should be right eye. There may be an issue with the, maybe the printing mistake or so. It should be right eye. Okay. All right, teeth and jaw. Consequently, Kama, he was diagnosed with the cluster headache and he has been on medications. Uh, you should mention medications including, and then you have to mention all these things. So on medications, uh, you can say also which include, okay? So medications, you should say medications including are medications which include 
Okay. Sir. Okay. So any of them should be used. Include this one, this one, this one. Okay, that's all. Apart from that, comma, his vital signs were remarkable. Is that remarkable or unremarkable? Remarkable, sir. Remarkable means uh, there is some issue. Yes, unremarkable. Sir, issue so were there issues with his vital signs? Yes, sir. Issues. Oh, yes, okay. Sir. All right. Then that's okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, today, Mr. Randava accompanied uh, with his wife. Randhava is accompanied with his wife. It's not a com Randhava accompanied. Uh, Randhava accompanied, sorry. Accompanied. Randhava is accompanied. He's accompanied with his wife. His wife states that. Stated or state. State is wrong. His wife state that. You should say his wife or his wife stated that. Stated that his right eye looks droopy, sunken eyelids. No, no, no. Okay. Let's say his right eye looks droopy. That's okay. That's correct. Okay. You need to use the same form here. His right eye looks droopy. Eyelid, eyelids appear sunken. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, sir. But I, I told you the same issue. I mean, like when you have written on the previous letter. Otherwise, you can say, um, okay. you can uh, you can write like this. Okay, his wife stated that he has droopy right eye, comma sunken eyelids, and he had facial okay. flushing before and during the headache. So. Okay, you could have written on like like that. Otherwise, you know, this is incorrect. Grammatically, it's incorrect. Okay. Okay. It looks droopy. Um, I think is that left eye or right eye? Sorry. Or right eye. His right eye. His right eye looks droopy. Okay, so instead of that, you can say stated that he has droopy right eye. Okay, sorry, it's not droopy right eye. Okay. Okay. All right, sunken eyelids, and he had uh, facial flushing before and uh, during the headache. That's okay. In addition, constriction of pupil. In dark lighting, decreased the sweating on right side of the face are observed, and also his acute headaches are correlated with the uh, rhinorrhea and epipora. Okay, yeah, that's all right. I'm happy with this sentence. There is no grammar mistake. In view of the above, it would be greatly appreciated if you could examine and provide appropriate treatment to Mr. Randava. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Yeah, that's fine. He was faithfully the head mess. Okay, H must be capital letter. Okay. Okay. The head mess. All right. Apart from that, this letter looks good. Grammar could have been a bit better. All right. Um. Particularly use of nouns, verbs, and tenses could have been improved. Okay, that is an issue. Spelling mistakes should be avoided. So you have committed one spelling mistake, you know, with the syndrome, but apart from that, it looks good. Use of capital and small letters needs to be improved as well. Okay. okay Connectivity and layout are fine. I'm happy with that. Overall task fulfillment is good as well. Um, that's all right. Presentation. 
features are all right. Passive voice was used correctly in most part of the letter. Vocabulary is fine as well. Oh, let me see if you have included all the relevant case notes or not. All right, so we are writing this letter to, it's a referral letter to the ophthalmologist, okay, for further evaluation and management. Sure. So we need to write only about the I mean, about every everything, including the social, because uh, he doesn't know this is a this is not a known case. It's good. So you have written on this one, old man who has been a patient at the clinic. You are working in as a head nurse. Okay, that's good. Today's date. That's all right. Dates changed. Did you write down, did you write down this date only in your letter? No, sir. You, what date did you write then? Sir, I mean. One second, sir. So 29 January, 29 January. No, no, that's the date, right? They have mentioned. What date did they mention? Today's date is 31 1. You have to write down this date, not 29 January. Okay. Today's date means okay. that's the date you, you need to write down, okay? Okay. Date of birth, that's okay. Raymond Street, Romaville. Okay, that's fine. Address. Address is not needed because he's not going to visit them at, at their home, right? So it's not needed. Um, okay, medical history, hypothyroidism, thyroid replacement, that's not needed. No history of trauma or weight loss, that's not needed. Hospital list due to appendicitis, that's not needed. No previous ocular history. No allergies, immunization, or current smoker, cigarettes, teetotaler. Okay, that's not needed. Works as a system analyst. Yeah, that is needed because you know they may need to work on uh, for which you know their eyes may be affected. I arrived in Australia from India with the wife in 2000. resident. Okay. That's not needed actually. Lives in own home, married, wife, uh, mono, rental, aged, and daughter. Okay. Subject to headache, or it said that no cough, no dizziness, denied vomiting, denied vomiting, denied vomiting, nausea, and so on. Okay. So that's good. Uh, objective. Uh, okay, P96. Okay, uh, everything else is all right. A new region, normal, like supple. That's okay. General assessment alert will be reached. Infectious sinusitis. So, this is important, but the remaining ones are okay. Um, All right. Um, yeah, I think you have included all the relevant case notes, so that's fine. It should be all right. Can I count me down? Hydrated rupee and sometimes some canalids. Okay, first noted by Mona on the official question. That's all right. Hydrated upper thigh, eyelid drooping, constriction of pupil. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So you have included all the relevant case notes. I'm very happy with that. Yes. All right, that's a good thing. So all relevant case notes are included. Well done. According to me, this sounds like the C plus grade letter for sure. It's, it should be more than that actually. So some of the mistakes are uh, recommendations only. So according to me, this can get maybe 310 out of 500. Thanks. Congratulations. All right. Thank you so much.